Hi, I'm John McChesney. I have the best job in the world. I get to share all this kind of crazy equipment with kids of all ages. There's the Tesla coil, Van de Graaff generators, giant ballistas, things that get them excited about science. We combine storytelling with hands-on experiments so that the kids really get to be creative. Think of it as Mr. Rogers meets Mythbusters. Over the years, we have discovered that getting children to pay attention is like trying to corral 20 cats running around in a park. Rather than demanding attention, we start telling a crazy story featuring Jack and Jill against evil Mr. Fred. And we make colorful stick figure drawings on the whiteboard while telling the story. The effect is amazing. The children stop whatever they are doing and listen. In order to keep them engaged, we stop short of telling the ending and say, if you were Jack and Jill, what would you do? Then they get to share their ideas. After that, when we start the experiment, the children are trying to figure out what the experiment will have to do with the story. They are relaxed and they are in a focused, creative mood. But we don't tell them how the experiment is supposed to turn out. That takes all the mystery out of it. Instead, we say, we don't know what's going to happen. You have to try it yourself and find out. So now they're on an adventure where they get to explore how the physical world works. Nowadays, kids spend a lot of time on their computers watching videos about science. But real world science is a whole lot messier than a computer simulation. It can be hot, cold, wet, slimy, sticky, bright, dark, smelly, and yucky. It can also be dangerous. And we don't shield kids from dangerous stuff. Instead, we teach them how to do dangerous things safely, the way adults do, so that they develop skill and confidence. When children get to explore science with joy and laughter, they discover all kinds of unexpected things. They immediately want to share their discoveries with their friends, and that is what develops their enthusiasm for science. After they finish their experiment, we tell the ending of the story. Of course, Jack and Jill find a way to make evil Mr. Fred the victim of his own schemes. If you'd like to help us bring rocket science to even more kids, please visit our donation page and chip in whatever you can. Thanks.